going to discuss the next endocrine gland here, that is thyroid gland. Thyroid gland is the largest endocrine gland. And it weighs about 25 grams. Location, it is in the neck region just above the trachea. So it is on ventral side, on trachea. So in the neck region, on the trachea is this gland located. This gland has two lobes, so we call it a bilobed gland. And these two uh, lobes are interconnected by a transverse connection. So if we draw this gland, these are the two lobes. This is one and here is the other lobe. And these two lobes are connected by a transverse connection. So this transverse connection is known as isthmus and these two are the lobes of thyroid. And that is why we call it a bilobed gland. And because these two lobes, they get connected by this transverse connection, the shape of this gland is alphabet H type or it is also known as butterfly shaped gland. So that is because of the two lobes which are getting connected by this transverse isthmus. If we anatomically see this gland, that means we're trying to see what is inside it, from outside, it is enclosed in a fibrous capsule. So outermost layer is of fibrous capsule and this is going to provide it the rigidity. Inside, there are many thyroid follicles. Each thyroid follicle is made up of follicular epithelium. So these are the follicles and if we make one follicle it is going to have cells. These are known as achinal cells of the thyroid follicular epithelium. So these are all the cells here. Let us make one more follicle. Again the cells lining the outermost layer that is the epithelium. So these cells are known as the achinal cells. Achinal cells of thyroid follicular epithelium. And this complete structure is known as the thyroid follicle. So there are many such thyroid follicles and they are held together by connective tissue. So there is connective tissue all around which is going to hold all these follicles together. So this is the connective tissue. Inside the thyroid follicle is again a substance which is called colloid. And this colloid contains inactive thyroglobulin. This is basically inactive thyroglobulin. And this is the one which will get activated and will change into the thyroid secreted hormone that is thyroxin. In the connective tissue, in between these thyroid follicles, in between these, there are few cells, scattered cells. They are in the connective tissue and these cells, they are known as parafollicular cells. And they are scattered in the connective tissue. So this, these cells, they are called parafollicular cells. These parafollicular cells, they are also endocrine in function. They are also endocrine cells. So now there are two hormones which are secreted by the thyroid glands. Hormones of thyroid gland are two. One is thyroxin and other is known as 
thyrocalcitonin or it is also known as simple calcitonin. And they are secreted by two different cells. This thyroxine is secreted by the achinal cells of the follicular epithelium. By achinal cells of follicular epithelium. Whereas thyrocalcitonin or simple calcitonin is secreted by the parafollicular cells. So both these cells, they secrete, they are endocrine and one secretes thyroxine which is secreted in its inactive form. It gets activated whenever it is required and from the other endocrine cells that is parafollicular cells, calcitonin is synthesized. Thyroid gland is under the influence of TSH. So stimulation of thyroid will be by TSH. TSH comes from the anterior lobe of pituitary. It stimulates thyroid gland and thyroid then releases the hormones depending upon which hormone is required. So externally a bilobed gland connected by a transverse connection. Internally there are follicles which are scattered in the connective tissue. Each follicle is lined by follicular epithelium. These cells are endocrine cells. They secrete the hormone but the hormone remains in its inactive state and that is known as thyroglobulin. Thi we'll talk about this hormone in detail. In between these follicles in the connective tissue there are a few more endocrine cells which are called para uh, follicular cells and they secrete the second hormone that is the thyrocalcitonin hormone or simple calcitonin hormone. Now we will take up these hormones and their individual functions and what would happen in their hypo and hyper. We will start with thyroxine.